Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today is a Faith Friday. Um, today's video is not going to be an easy one. Um, but you know, faith related videos aren't always easy. Faith isn't always easy. Um, there's a lot going on in the world right now. And even more things going on in our own lives. You know what I mean? Like directing us personally. So this video is not going to be like most of my other videos. It's I'm not going to be as upbeat. I'm not going to be as chipper, as happy, as chatty. Um, but this video needs to be made and these things need to be said because in the end these things need to be heard. So actually I just came from a funeral. Um, there was a boy in our church. He was in our church family. Um, he would have been a senior this coming year so he was pretty young. He passed away. He was in a car accident and I, I didn't know him personally that well. It's just the fact that it is such a young life taken from us and it's just so easy to get mad at God and to just wonder why and you know what was the purpose what's the reason behind it why I put him on this earth just to take him away in such a quick amount of time and while I don't have the answers um not answers that we really want to hear not answers that we're ever going to know until we get to heaven I do have faith in God and I I've been praying for the family I can't imagine what they're going through. Um, I, I can't imagine what they're going through. But this video is not all about that. So this video is actually about timing. It's everything that has gone on with this poor boy's life um, has really made me kind of stop and think and not just about life and death situations with every situation um, that we're putting in, whether it's work or buying a house or having a family or finances, you know, anything like that. Timing is a huge factor. And in the end, we, you know, we give timing credit. Situations that play out in our lives, we do typically say, oh, you know, it's just not the right time. It's not the right time. But like, do you ever really stop and think, whose timing is it then you know like who sets up the timing? because it's not our timing like if, if we were setting up the timing obviously we would make it work in our favor so sometimes you just have to stop and think who is actually setting up the timing um and obviously that's god so that's what we're going to talk about today i did just want to um ask you guys to pray for the family um of the boy that had passed his name was elijah um i ask you to please keep them in your prayers i think like i said i can't imagine what they're going through i don't think anybody can right now unless you have lost a child uh, uh yes yeah, so i don't want to cry again so i just ask that you pray for them and we are going to talk about some timing so perfect timing how many times has god told us it's not the right time it's not the perfect timing but we didn't listen instead we rush forward full of self-confidence without without any fear of god or what god has for us we just do our own thing because we want answers now because we just feel like we have to do something we have to do anything because we want we want we want more and we don't have the patience in us to wait for the right time but we are told to wait the lord tells us and i have the verse put up wait upon me let me do my good work when it's time to act you will know i will tell you you are my child trust in my timing and my plans i will show you miracles liberations and healing please trust in me remember how i rose up on the third day I am the Lord your God. So we are told to wait. We waited for God for three days. Who's to say we can't wait for another situation for longer? You know what I mean? We need to wait upon all of his promises, everything that he has planned. We need to wait for the life to take place in the way he had intended it to for us. So I guess what I'm saying is when you find yourself overwhelmed, when you find yourself with interruptions, distractions, grief, make sure that you take a deep breath. Turn your focus and present yourself to God. Ask the Father, what do you want me to learn from this? Ask God why you're in this situation. God doesn't get mad when you ask why, when you take your feelings to him. That's what he wants. Ask him, what do you want me to see from this? What do you want me to learn from this? How am I supposed to grow from this situation that you put me in? Because even though I don't like the situation I'm in, even though I don't like the waiting, I know I'm here for a reason. The more we go to God, the more he's going to calm our minds. He's going to calm our hearts. He's going to calm our spirits. We're just going to be more at peace with the world and with everything, every situation that presents itself. Just to kind of go out, I want to say a little bit for any of those of you out there that are watching that are suffering at this time. Again, whether it's grief, mourning, the unknown, um, 
job situations, house situations, infertility, whatever it may be, I just kind of wrote a little letter for you guys. A note to the child of God trying to understand. There are some times when you feel young and excited about what God has in store for you, and then there are these times where you feel anxious, worried, upset, sad, because it seems like time is just passing you by. In that moment, please don't look to your friends. Please don't look into someone else's life on Instagram. Don't even look at your past accomplishments. Look to Jesus. Let him wrap you in his love as you wait to see what the Lord is going to reveal in you. And also, in the meantime, remember that in waiting on the Lord God, that doesn't mean just waiting around. Go volunteer, learn a new language, make a new friend, write a book, go spend time with loved ones that you haven't seen in a while. Yes, God is going to reveal things to you in the future, but the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, is also guiding you today in this very moment. Every day is an opportunity to bravely to step out of the barriers that tell you that you're not enough or you can't try this, or you can't get over this bump in the road, or what if I fail? When you are doing that for the Lord your God, you will not fail. You will be able to succeed in every situation. You will be able to overcome every situation. Instead of trying to have everything figured out and understand everything that is going on in the world, try to figure this out. How am I going to serve the Lord God today? How am I going to make the most of what is already given to me? There is so much strength and peace found in this way of life, and I promise you're going to get where he's taking you in his timing. So knowing this, learn to embrace more of what he is already doing in our lives. I know this was kind of a hodgepodge. Um, there was a lot of rambling, and I just felt like I need to just sit down um, and just talk with you guys. I just feel like I really just had to put that out there and talk to you guys and let you know that you're not alone no matter what you're going through. You can always message me too if you feel like you don't have anybody to talk to. Um, once you've talked to God and say you just need a little nudge, just a little bit more motivation, feel free to reach out to me if you are suffering so bad that you just need a worldly friend. I am here for you. Please um, comment your Instagram down below if you need me to reach out to you or you reach out to me. I answer everyone on Instagram. Um, I'll put it somewhere here. Message me if you need someone to talk to, if you need um, if you have prayer requests, anything like that, um, I'm praying for each and every one of you and just please continue to pray for the Briegel family. I, yeah. I will see you guys hopefully Monday. My video will be a little bit more upbeat, but sometimes I feel like faith talks aren't always easy.